I've seen Rambo jump from higher. I think if we jump, it'll cut to that scene. Good morning, folks. Good afternoon and good evening. Welcome to the channel. My name is Luna Rhodes, back once again with another video. And this channel, the title name of this channel has changed to Luna Avengers. So you'll find me on the Luna Avengers. And I'm sorry for the mishap and the difficulty in my channel searchability, but it's all been resolved. Thank goodness. But anyway, it's been a minute since I was last on YouTube because life has been life and child. That's all I have to say. I mean, the last video I did was almost a month ago on MI5 and Beyonce's concert. <laughs> but moving that aside, I wanted to return to YouTube with a first time watch of a movie. So let's get back to the fun stuff because I have been MIA and I can't wait to watch. There's so many movies that I want to watch, first time watch so many reviews I haven't done and um, I mean don't get me wrong there's many wonderful things that has happened in my life but there's been several atrocious things but as I say this is all about the fun times and the movies so we're gonna kick off with a first time watch today which is Rambo First Blood yes I am a Sylvester Stallone fan I absolutely adore the Rocky franchise but I have never never watched the Rambo franchise and I really do appreciate that type of genre of movie you know special forces veteran soldier war I, I I really do appreciate those sorts of movies so get comfy get a beverage get your munchies and let's get into this movie <laughs> I'm already smiling at the start of the movie here we go movie well, now that seems intentionally misleading. There's something about the 70s and early 80s music. Something so melancholy about it. Oh my gosh. Look how young he looks. I know, I know it's an 80s movie, but man, he looks so young. He was so fine. Well, he's still fine, but child. Oh. Music by Jerry Goldsmith. I've not heard of that com composer. Sorry if my ignorance, but I've not heard of that composer. Excuse me. Can you tell me this? Where Delmar Barry lives? Yeah, here. Okay. Come on inside, baby. Oh, he's a friend of mine. As a matter of fact, he brought this address down right here. And you can see that's Delmar's writing. I'm sure it's hard to find in this place. I just expect him to speak in that Rocky Balboa voice and to hear him speak in like his diction so clear. It's like, okay, you know, I'm telling you, I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing a rewatch of several movies from the 80s. So you're just going to bear with me. I'm going to go back to the 80s and, oh, there's something magical about it. My goodness. That's it, Ryan. Like I said, he's a friend. Uh, my name is John Rambo. We served on the same team together in Nam. I don't know if you ever talked about me. I've got a picture of uh, and the amount of movies on Vietnam, I, as I say, I love Oliver Stone because Oliver Stone, he is kind of entwined in that history himself. So that's why his perspective on Vietnam is so visceral. Sorry about that, but you know, I just tend to <laughs> yammer on about things. Stuff that spread it around. Cut him down, 
lots of things to be said about the Vietnam War. Very sad. Lots of things. I know you, don't I? Oh gosh, I have to, oh, hold on, hold on. I have to get this guy's name. Brian Denny, Brian Denny. Morning, baby. How you doing, girl? Great. I recognize that right, face, man. What did you just say? <laughs> Why are you pushing me? What did you say? You haven't done anything, do you? First of all, you don't ask the questions around here, I do. You understand? Second, we don't want guys like you in this town. Drifters. First thing you know, we got a whole bunch of guys like you in this town. That's why. Pardon me? Besides, you would like it here. It's, it's a quiet little town. In fact, you might say it's boring. But that's the way we like it. And I get paid to keep it that way. Hmm. Insular so. mindset. his haircut. <laughs> Nothing like a mullet. Have a nice day, huh? All right. You're taking fuck. Sorry. <laughs> Hope his car breaks down. Boy, what the fuck you want? No right to Oxford ID unless a crime has been committed. We know that law. Like right now. Not personally, but we're watching a lot of crime drama. Why would you be carrying a knife like this? 
I know that face, the redhead. I'm usually very good with names, but I'll be damned if I haven't forgotten <laughs> Post-traumatic stress, man. Vietnam. Rambo. John Jay? Born on the 4th of July. Have you seen that movie? That is completely heart heartbreaking. All right, hurry up. It's time for my coffee break. All right, sit down. Sit down.
post-traumatic stress of a post-war veteran and this is just consistent to Born the 4th of July and all those other movies <laughs> oh shit <laughs> I, to be honest, I thought it was going to turn back and help the police officer. He's a veteran. For goodness sake. If they give him any shit, tell him to sign him for obstruction right on the spot. Okay. With those survival skills that you learned, I guess, in Vietnam. I must admit, man. The locale, the cinematography is just stunning in this film. I just love it that they shoot in locations, very practical sets. It just adds to the audience experience and it's just beautiful. something was moving there. I 
to call this movie The Fugitive. What are you gonna do? Shoot me down. I've seen Rambo jump from higher. I think if we jump, it'll cut to that scene. He deserved. So unnecessary. Kung has a very much uh, feel like Predator, the first Predator. You're hit. You're bleeding, man. I ain't got time to bleed. That's why. Was his own downfall? Pardon the pun. Exactly.
Ralph's dead, all right. Where the hell's that goddamn chopper? Exactly. Oh, come, Will. This is a storm headed your way. I don't give a goddamn what's on its way. I want that chopper back here right now. You sure picked one a hell of a guy to mess around with. This came over the teletype a few minutes ago. John Rambo is a Vietnam vet. He's a Green Beret, Congressional Medal of Honor. Guy's a war hero. Exactly, bitch. Now can we, can we put respect on his name now? Nigga, when my name come up, respect it. Let's go. Stop playing with my fucking name.